Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. How Montreal Road North America SF1 Wave Indeed This year marks the 45th anniversary of the first race in Montreal, which famously was also the first win of local hero Gilles Villeneuve. The circuit, later renamed after the Ferrari legend, has featured almost constantly in the program ever since. Apart from that of financial mishaps in 1987 and 2009, and the coronavirus hit years of 2020 and 2021. Significantly, Montreal carried the torch for Formula One in North America, at a time when there wasn't enough interest to host a race in the USA. In 1985-88, 1992-99, 2008, and 2010 11 American fans, sponsor CEOs and corporate guests, had to head north of the border, for their annual Grand Prix race. Last year the race rebounded after the forced the COVID break, with a hugely successful event, that showed a Canadian GP can also be successful with two races in the US. This year's event sold out before the end of last season. Fans who committed to buying tickets back then have an added bonus. Lance Stroll now has a car capable of scoring well in the points. The driving force behind the Montreal race is Francois Dumontier, president and CEO of the support organization Octane Racing Group. The previously independent company was bought in April 2021 by the powerful Bell Group, the telecoms giant whose portfolio also includes the country's English and French language F1 broadcasters TSN and RDS. Both have been partners with Formula One for three decades, with their current contracts agreed a year before Bell entered the Montreal event run until the end of 2024. Dumontier has acted as promoter of the Canadian GP since 2010, and have been involved with the event in various roles since 1994. Before that I worked for the park, the city he recalls, and since the city leases the track to the promoter, I was the liaison between the city and the promoter Norman Legault. One day Norman came up to me and said I had a job for you, and I just left town and started working in Formula One, coming from Montreal and...